Hey, um, Bruno, this week, yes. last week we did the top three Karens, and this week, in honour of this man, Tim Smith, the whingiest politician on the planet, we are oh, going to be talking. <laughs> we are going to be talking about the top three Tims. Tim, we have named the Karen, the male version of Karens. We've named Tim after Tim Smith, the member of for Q, because seriously, he does nothing but whinge. Um, so, Bruno, what have you got for us? Oh, guys, this took me great pleasure doing the research for the uh, top three Tim. So, guys, we start off at number three. And, and listen, sometimes the best Tim meltdowns are the ones where they're, they, they, they think that they're so in the right uh, that they themselves begin to start filming so that they can show everyone, like, hey, can you believe how wrong I am? Uh, and then little do they know that, you know, it all gets turned around on them because they're the big idiot. So let me take you to yeah. London 2018. This gentleman here, Tim, is having a, a great difficulty exiting a building. That says emergency exit. Would that open if there was an emergency? Yes or no? That would not open. Thank you very much. That is going on YouTube. I pressed the exit button! <laughs> Why? That says cycle! I'm not a f***ing cycle! Why can I not open this door to get out? And this does not work either. Right, so there is two emergency exits that do not work in this building. I am not a cycle. Why will I go for the cycle door? Right, that is being reported to health and safety right now. I am not a cycle. <laughs> yeah, I don't know if you guys... You know are a cycle. <laughs> not a cycle. If any of your viewers think that he's a cycle, get that out of your mind. He is <laughs> not a cycle. <laughs> what does he mean? I don't get that. What does he mean? What does oh, he mean? Reggie, you cycle. probably couldn't see it because of your eyes, but um, there was a, uh, a, a picture of a cycle. That's not offensive. She's legally no, blind, Robbo. Yeah, my eyes are stuffed. Yeah. <laughs> so I'm don't look at it like I just Tell said me. I called her <laughs> Sorry, sorry, sorry. No, um, what, what there was, he, there was a picture of the cycle mean? on the only on the emergency door that worked. Well, I'll I'll tell you about it off air. It was very funny. All right. Okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. Guys, let me take you let me take you to uh let me take you to number 2. This was in uh, Atlanta, Georgia, in the US last mm. year. And so a guy walks into a vape store, you know, like the vape pens, oh, yeah. you know. Oh, yeah. uh, so the guy walks yeah. in and he's wearing a Make America Great Again hat and a pro Donald Trump shirt, right? He's a big, big, muscly guy. And he was wanting to get himself a little bit of uh, the old vape juice. In fact, it was strawberry flavored vape juice. Now, uh, 99 times out of 100, when you see these um, uh, Karen and Tim uh, videos, the customer is always the idiot, right? Like he's in the wrong. Uh, but yeah. in this video, it's actually the employee who's becoming our Tim. So in other words, oh. this Trump guy that walks ah. in, he, he's, he's, actually, he's actually okay. He's been a little bit of a shit stirrer, but it's the employee that loses it. Check this out. Okay. If you do not stop recording in my store, I'm going to call the police and ask you to leave now. Please call the That would be awesome. Because I just want to purchase something. F*** off, off, dude. F*** off. Get the f*** off of here, man. F*** off, man. <laughs> fuck stay. F***ing stay. F stay. You're racist, oh, motherfuckers. Racist? Oh, my yeah. God. Okay, leave, here's where we're at. Leave the store. Here's where we're at. Leave the store. Here's leave where, the store. Here's where leave we're at. Leave the store. F*** off. I don't give a f***. Get Dude, I'm gonna make a deal with you. I want to purchase that vape juice. No. If you sell it to me, no. I will. No. If you sell it to me, look. Get it's out. Like, oh, help your customer. Fuck off. Fuck off. Fuck off. So um, he's yeah, reminding so me guy, of a. Yeah, he, he doesn't oh, seem like I a fan of that. I had a bus like this the other day. Yeah, I so, had a bus driver like this the other week. Yeah, so Truth. Seth Rogen Jr. Sorry, uh, ended up losing his uh, his job as a what, result of that. What was his, What was he upset he about, good. Bruno? Uh, I, it would That's seem that uh, he didn't like the guy being a uh, pro Donald Trump uh, oh, supporter, so he kind okay. of uh, lo lost his oh. mind. Yeah, there was a little reference in there to like you're a racist or, or or something like that. So they didn't really get into a huge political discussion about it. The employee just um. flipped out and uh, and wanted uh, nothing to do with the guy.
I have to say, I mm. think that employee Gosh. needs to forget the vaping and just go into the drawer underneath and pull out one of those uh, rolled up cigarettes and have one of those. Oh, yeah, I was going to say, isn't it, isn't, it, isn't it meant to make you really mellow all that stuff? Like, he, he was really on edge, this guy. Like, he's going to be getting, he's going to get high off his own supply and just chill out. I got to say, Bruno, on? if that's your number two, I can't wait for your number one. <laughs> yeah, well, listen, n n number one has become really uh, one of my favourites since the uh, the incident took place. In fact, I now follow this guy on all of his. Uh, socials. Uh, I've got Google alerts set up. Like I'm obsessed uh, with with this guy. So this is Long Island. This is exactly one year ago. Uh, and to set it up for you, he's a very short man. He's uh, five foot tall. He walks into a bagel store and he he starts to get a sense that the female staff are like mocking him for not being tall enough. Uh, and then all hell breaks loose. When you're ready. Why is it okay for women to say, oh, you're five feet on dating sites? You should be dead. That's okay. Who said that to you here? Nobody. The women in general have said it on dating sites. You think I'm making that shit up? Yeah. Everywhere I go, I get the same fucking smirk with the biting lip. Shut your mouth. You're not God or my father or my boss. Dude, you want to step outside? You want to step outside? Huh? I'm not standing, pal. I'm not. I'm not. You shut up, too. Just shut the f up. Just go ahead and attack me, yeah. big f Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Shut I just wanted bagels. Oh, so, oh, I don't know. Oh, my so. God. Yeah, so th this guy ended up becoming quite a big deal in the States. He, he got known as a Bagel Boss because that was the name of the, the, the takeaway store that he was in. Um, and he went on like the celebrity, uh, I use celebrity uh, very loosely, the celebrity boxing circuit. Uh, he, 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 he made a few bucks and he lives in a trailer he now. He could. He's he done could all right do for that. Himself. Midget porn stuff. Midget porn stuff. Oh, okay. <laughs> We'd be talking about yeah. midget porn this uh, this show. He could go on that. Well, I, well, he does well, have I that. Um, he, he does yeah. have that um, uh, big dick energy about him. So maybe there is something to be said <laughs> for how he would go in pornography. I think you might be right. Uh, Bruno, yeah. we love you. Thank oh. you very much. I always love this segment. Bruno, thank, thank you very you much. Too. We'll see you next week, my friend. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Bye, see you. Bye, see you Bruno. Thanks, Bruno. It's a Ben, Rob and Rob, oh Ben, Rob and Rob, oh Shen.